Stephanie McMahon and Test versus The Rock. The rest thing is very much just there, but the crowd, the heat is ridiculously great because Rock is, besides just being The Rock in general, he is so great at knowing his his timing and when to make his comeback and when to get cut off and sell. Everything happens exactly when it should to get the maximum reaction. He's The Rock. He's the best. So eventually, Stephanie distracts Nick Patrick. Rock grabs Nick Patrick. Nick shoves the rock, and so rock, rock bottoms Nick Patrick, who disappears like forever. It leads to Booker T and Shane getting involved, and rock is now essentially fighting four on one if you count Steph. Eventually, it goes on forever. Uh, somebody hit rock with a move, I forget what it was, but Steph got to pin him. So there you go, Steph and Test win. Axe. Yeah, Booker uh, Booker hit the, the, uh, the bookend. They debuted the bookend here. At least they sold it like it was a debut of the bookend. And uh, he hit it, and Stephanie got on top, and she got the cover, she got the pin. I absolutely hated this finish in 2001, and I hate it for completely different reasons today. In 2001, I hated it because, like, fuck, Jesus Christ, Stephanie has to pin the rock. Like, I mean, come on, it's ridiculous. Today, I hate it because here's the rock putting over Stephanie McMahon. The Rock is going to be just as over on Thursday as he was here on this show. He's going to be just as over the pay-per-view. He's going to be just as over uh, going into Hollywood, and he's going to whatever. He's The Rock, okay? But, as I've mentioned a million times, The Rock could withstand all of this dumb shit. And so they learned... That it's okay to do this dumb shit with everyone who is not The Rock. And it led to, I don't know if you guys paid attention or not, but once The Rock and Steve Austin left, the closest we ever came to someone at their level was John Cena. And regardless of whatever reaction John Cena's been getting the last couple of weeks, he ain't The Rock, and he ain't Stone Cold Steve Austin. And one of the reasons that they have never got another Rock or Stone Cold Steve Austin is because they do this dumb shit to this day. They beat people, they beat people, they have managers pin people, they have this, they have that, they have stupid comedy that people have to read, Drew McIntyre is talking about the goddamn Loch Ness Monster, it's the same shit, all because of this kind of stuff that they did that The Rock was able to survive. But there's only one Rock. I was sickened watching this, thinking, God damn, this just fucked up 20 years right here. This finish right here helped fuck up the next 20 years of my wrestling fandom. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.